By force, Jeff Humphrey joins us live on 36th Avenue, where Mark English's gambling problems ruined the last years of his mom's life. It's a story you'll only see here. Jeff? Dave, Mary Jo English developed some health problems a couple of years ago, and so her oldest son, Mark, assumed command of her finances, including mailing those monthly mortgage payments for her home. However, detectives say Mark never sent those checks because it would have limited the amount of money available for him to steal from his own mother. We have to find some place to live in two weeks. I don't know how that's going to happen. It's hard to say which has hurt Mary Jo English the most, the fact she's about to lose her home or that her own son, Mark, ravaged her retirement account. I just never thought, just never thought that it would get this far and be this bad. It started with a pair of strokes that has left Mary Jo's speech slurred. Her son used Mary Jo's illness to assume command of her finances and police say stole $137,000 of Mary Jo's money before losing it in the casinos. Her house is in a foreclosure and it's going through a quick sale and we just got notified that she has to be out of the house by December 31st. Mary Jo didn't know she was behind on her house payments because Mark had redirected all of her mail to a post office box. Now her other son, Daniel, is struggling to raise the $21,000 Mary Jo needs to stop the foreclosure. I'm hoping that we could somehow get the banks to give her her money back, to re replenish the money back into her account so she could pay off her, the money in the rears and to keep her house. Mark English was convicted of theft last month and ordered to make restitution to his mother, but the money won't come soon enough to save Mary Jo's home. She's being victimized more when the banks refuse to help her out, at least give her some of her money back. But the mortgage company should at least be sympathetic about 72-year-old mother being victimized by her son. Mark English's job as a long-haul trucker made it all too easy for him to gamble away all this money without anybody noticing. Experts say when someone in your family is granted power of attorney, it's incumbent upon the other family members to scrutinize that person's actions. Reporting live on the South Hill, Jeff Humphrey, KXLY4.